Salutations, cosmonauts! So, are you tired of buying minerals, going shopping for minerals, some heavy resources? Well, this outpost is going to put a big dent in our quality of life, as in it's going to greatly improve it. So, we are going to Jaffa 1. And this planet has dysprosium, titanium, tungsten. These, well, tungsten being the last of the big ones. So far, we haven't really needed much titanium, but tungsten is the last uh, annoying resource uh, that we're gonna farm. Annoying because, you know, we had to go shopping for it. But this outpost, we are gonna collect lead, tungsten, titanium, and dysprosium. And those are four elements that are on my list. All right, so the biomes on this planet range from rocky desert, sandy desert, and there's probably one more. But the good news is all four of our resources are in one biome. And I'm very happy about that. And um, I'm not worried about any anything else here. The iron, we already have. The uranium, we have a, uh, another planet that's actually a better source, in my opinion, because we collected with some other stuff. So this is the only outpost that we're going to build on this planet. So, how did I do? The dysprosium, we got plenty of that. The lead, not the biggest patch, but I'm satisfied with this for now. Titanium. All right, decent spot for titanium. Look how wide the radius of this extractor is, though. But as long as I could just get five, I'm going to be fine with that. And then the tungsten. A good bit of tungsten. And having said that, let's start mining the tungsten. This is the one I really want. The one I find uh, to be the most important on this planet so far. This and titanium. So I'm just going to lay down five of these. And then the storage for these five. Which is solid, of course. I'm just going to place it right here. All right. And then the usual dance of connections. All right. They connect the extractors. Can't believe I used to think this was really complicated. So far, it's been pretty good. No major problems or headaches. My biggest headache right now is um, the bottleneck and the tra uh, cargo links. Just uh, some resources are... Um, Taking a lion's share of the storage right now. It'll be like that until I uh, build um, an outpost that has a large amount of storage. And then even then, I may have to manage it just a little bit. Like sell off a lot of the overproduced resources. You know, overproduced in uh, comparison of everything else. Alright. Alright, that's the... That was the tungsten. Okay. I guess I'll just work my way up. Let's do the titanium next to this. So let's do five here. It's kind of weird how my circle is like cut off. There must be something nearby that's affecting my uh, my um, footprint here. Yeah, look how wide you have to make this for titanium. What's production of this anyway? Does it say somewhere? Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. And come on, let me get my one more. I just need one more, you bastards. Wow, the radius of this is so wide that I, I'm, I'm having trouble getting my fifth one in. All right, let me just reposition this then. See if I could reposition this a little better. Woo! I managed to do it. I got my five. <laughs> worst comes to worst, uh, I could always find a better spot on this planet. But five, I'm happy with that. And we're going to make the five storage for this. And we're going to place on this side. All right, that's my five. And then connect them. Cool. And then the extractors start time to dance. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to go shopping for tungsten anymore. And from here on out, guys, our shopping is going to come to a minimum. Like all the bulk stuff, the stuff that takes a lot of resources in your outpost management, our outpost building. Yeah, we've got it in the bag after we build this outpost. Okay, that's all five of those. Okay, that was the titanium. Wait a minute. 
I had another patch of titanium over here. Nah, this this is this is a good this is a good outpost, man. Um, I'm curious to see if I'll be able to get five of these. I don't know how, how important lead is, but um, I got it. Okay, this has a small radius. I could actually squeeze a good bit in here. Yeah, I thought all the radius of the extractors were the same. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Did I really though? Did I? There we go. Not the most efficient, but it's gonna be fine. And then five of this. Yeah, look at this, all bunched up right here. I like it. And that's five. And then connections. And now the Desprosium. How much of a headache are these rocks going to give me? Oh, this has a wide circle. Really wide. Eh, not too bad. And I got plenty of, plenty of space here for it. There we go. That's five. The five containers for these. Right, perfect. Oda likes perfection. Oh, this is Andresia right there. Okay. Oops, messed up. I could fix it easily by pressing R. And hovering over the line, of course. Alright, one more? One more. Alright, that's all for my resources? Oh no. Son of a bitch. Why? Why must you mess with me, man? Alright, let me go deal with this mess. I smell See? Stupid spacers, man. They were, for, they were forming like a long line headed uh, in my direction, too. It would have been only a matter of time. You guys like my new ship? Ecliptic Bayonet. Free! Alright, normally at this point I would hook up the power, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to set up all both of my cargo links. Uh, and also set the, enter, the, the cargo link to the um, previous outpost. And then uh, install the power. And uh, see how that affects distribution of... Uh, the local minerals versus the stuff that's coming in. Yeah, all the stuff is spread all over the place. I may end up having to cover up that uh, tungsten patch. Oh, no, I'm good. I mean, who says I can't just put these side by side? Is this one here? I also just build both of them, man. Yeah. Now I always set the left one as my incoming. Makes things a bit easier. And now from here, I'm actually going to create a lot of storage. I'm going to create 20 storage containers. You guys don't have to do that, but I really want to try to get um, stuff moving on in my pipeline here. So I, I want to make sure I orient this right. And it's going to be um, four stacks of five. And this time I'm going to make sure they're not actually touching. Okay, that's 20 cargos. And I'm going to connect these up. Now, the resource uh, cost was really expensive, but the good news is um, we have outposts for all of it, so it's fine. Make sure I get all this in the right order, too. It would be disastrous otherwise. Okay, so that is very clear how the order of this is, is going. And then the incoming link here is going to go to the bottom one here. It may have been easier if I start from the top to the bottom. You know, start inbox being the top. Oh, well, you guys can do whatever you want. It's cool. And now I know which my outbox is. Is right here. That's gonna go here. All right. And now let's create. Uh, I need liquid and um, gas storage. I'm gonna do five of each.
Go and connect these up. So many red lines everywhere, man. Okay, so that's all. That's all done. Cool. And now my distribution boxes for uh, this stuff here. But yeah, that's a lot of cargo, man. I know. Believe me, I know. And I'm going to do 10 of these. Let's make sure I got enough mats here. Yeah, I got enough mats. But don't worry, all the list of mats are going to be listed in the description below. Alright, so that's my uh, collection boxes done. Now I need to hook up uh, all the main storage out here. Piece of cake. I'd imagine if you were to jump into this episode straight away without watching the previous episodes, this might look a little complicated. No, it's just a you know, larger scale version of what we've been doing. So, not a big deal. In my opinion, it's not a big deal. Right. So then the last thing I need to do is set up the power and connect the cargo link and yeah. And this base is gonna be pretty much done, so let's get the power going. Solar arrays, we're actually getting eight per here. And we could do wind turbines as well, but it only gives six. So solar array it is. Need a hundred power, man. This is a thirsty station. All right, and there we have it. It's all the power set. Let's go ahead and uh, connect this cargo link. Where am I? Where am I? There we are. It's looking almost like a proper outpost. All I need is Habs. Not much of a footprint here, though. I'm bleeding. Damn. Ecliptic hurt me, man. No, they were spacers. All right, here we go. All right, connecting to this. Look at all that with those resources coming in, man. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, Jaffa 2. Connect it up. Boom. And I'm looking forward to see how this is going to affect the distribution of stuff coming in. Look at that lighting. It's so pretty. Bye, Bubba. Thanks for the deliveries, my man. Okay, so it took two cycles before something finally registered, and now you can see in a car uh, solid cargo here. That's filling up. And... Looks like uh, the liquid storage, nothing yet. But the gas storage, yeah, gas storage is looking good. Okay, so things are coming from off-planet. Nice. And of course, I'm going to make sure that everything's working fine on this one, the outgoing container. Yeah, look at that. Dysprosium, tungsten, chloris, chlorosalines, titanium, and lead. Okay, so, uh, chlorosaline. Oh, that's why, uh, the, um... Oh, Andresia wants to talk to me. Yeah. All right, so that's why the liquid was empty, because it got, it got put here right away. All right, so that's cool. That's why I wanted to put the power last like that. Wow, all the chlorosalines went over here. Very freaking cool, man. And, of course, we're going to rename this, right? Right, so... OP5 OP5 Butterfingers over here um, Okay, so what I got here? Titanium uh, Tungsten is just W, right? Lead is PB, like peanut butter And this dope Whatever this is called 
I know what that means. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, man, that's base five in the books. I'm really happy about this. Everything is, is everything is running smoothly. No problem so far. <laughs> All right, so for you, for those of you guys who's following along this guide and kind of doing what I'm doing, uh, get ready. Make sure you have uh, planetary habitation one, and possibly zoology and um, uh, the greenhouse one, the plants. I forgot what it's called. But uh, definitely have planetary habitation number one. Um, I'm just doing this as a sort of a preemptive thing. I want to make sure I open up as many worlds as possible because that's more than half of my list done, I think. And so that's five outposts. So I have three more outposts um, to get as much of uh, that list done. Then after that, I'm going to start spending perks and do like, um, what is it, outpost management or whatever to where you can have more outposts. So there you go. Things are going good. I'm really feeling good about this. Yeah, man. Thank you for coming by. Really appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.